In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the cover four palms as a defense that you can utilize to slow down the bunch tight end offense in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that I upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. We've been doing this for almost a year and a half now, and the channel has been going growing at a tremendous rate. So if you want to be a part of it, again, hit that subscribe button uh, down below. Now, what we're going to talk about in this video is how we can kind of use match coverage, specifically cover four palms, uh, to be able to give us a little bit of a shot at hanging with one of the better offenses in the game, which is the bunch tight end. Now, bunch tight end is good for a lot of different reasons, but what makes bunch tight end, in my opinion, so difficult to guard is the fact that it's a compression set. It's also a basically a trips tight end style uh, where the tight end is the only receiver on the other side. And what makes it really, really good is the fact that you can roll out of the pocket. So how I want to set up this cover four palms style of defense is actually relatively simple. And at the same time, I want to remember or I want to remind you that you want to give yourself um, a good, you know, a good ability to be able to use her. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and pinch our defense out of the nickel normal cover four palms. Now I have a full ebook on the nickel normal as, as well as a very deep dive into match coverage. Again, how it teach it, teaching how it works against literally every offensive scheme in this game. If you want to get access to that, um, there's going to be a link down in the description to join the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you get that, you get everything. You get all my ebooks, all my breakdowns for just one price of $10 a month. Uh, for ten dollars a month, you literally get all of all of my content. I've got uh, fourteen offensive and defensive ebooks available over at the Patreon. I've got a ton of updates we've been doing over the last couple weeks, just kind of tweaking some of the game plans to make them more effective, as well as uh, several videos, you know, where we drop little mini schemes and stuff like that. So if you're interested, link is in the description for that. So cover four palms is what we're talking about. Now, what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and bluff blitz the defensive tackle that is on the side uh, of the bunch. So you're gonna see here, we're gonna bluff blitz him. That's gonna help us to kind of defend some of the shallow crossers and things like that. We're gonna QB spy the backside guy. If you don't wanna QB spy him, go ahead and man him up onto the running back. But we know how good the rollout is out of this. So we're gonna go ahead and QB spy this D tackle. Make sure you put somebody that has some decent speed there so that he can keep up with the player. And then lastly, you're going to grab onto this guy, Burris, and you're going to use her kind of right over in this area and kind of help. Now, what I want to really be clear about is if the tight end runs a post route, this is why it shows the cover four palms. So you're going to go ahead and blitz your user um, just like this right here, really important. And then what you're going to notice is let's say they run a combo that looks like this, slant post concept. I want you to watch who guards the tight end. You're gonna notice that the backside corner basically runs the route for him, and he will pick it off nine times out of 10. And um, it's not just because that's Stephon Gilmore, trust me, that is 100% consistent regardless of player. If I were to flip this play, obviously you'd wanna go ahead and flip your play as a defense, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab on the Jamry Chin, bring him over here just like so, and what you should see with the same exact combo, but now a different corner, once again, notice he's going to basically run the route for him and he will get in front of him and he'll basically be in position to make a play on the ball. Obviously, he caught it, but that's a click on pick. Very simple. So we really don't have to worry about the tight end in this offense. Really, the number one player we need to worry about is the slot receiver. So what I like to do with this, uh, with this coverage, is I like to go ahead and man up the linebacker onto that slot receiver. So you see here, he's kind of cross man onto him. What this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of turn our focus, and oftentimes I'm gonna put a safety there so he has a good coverage, but it's gonna turn our focus specifically to the post or to the deep crossing routes uh, within the formation. So here you're gonna see we got that man coverage, he's gonna run with him, and then we're just gonna kind of help poach. But as you can see, for the most part, we're able to kind of hang with one of the best passing concepts in Madden 22. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit simpler than what I've done in this in this piece here on this, go ahead and shade your coverage down out of the cover four palms, and you're gonna notice that you're gonna play a little bit better on those drags, um, and then you're gonna really kind of close off some of those lanes. However, like a running back wheel route, you certainly need to be aware of. That could be something to potentially guard you, but notice here your hard flat guy is gonna be in that area, and he's gonna be able to kind of hang in that in that general space. So again, really important here, you don't have to hard flat. I actually don't typically hard flat out of this. What I do like to do 
and to suggest to people uh, is to man this linebacker up on who either the inside uh, slot or the point man of the bunch. So either Mike Evans or Johnson. In this example, I'll show you. So we're going to man him up on the circle receiver. And then what you're going to see is I'm going to set up one of the better bombs out of the bunch tight end, which would be the uh, PA boot over with the wheel to the running back and the block tight end. And now this frees your user up. You don't have to worry about that. So you know, okay, he's a slant. Oh, okay, there. All I've got to go user is that post. And by the way, we've got great match defense on the post, as you can see, and we're able to take that away. So again, that's one of the best bombs in the game. And notice how Cover Four Palms does a pretty decent job at kind of slowing that down and taking that concept away. Another example of this would be another concept that they like to run out of this might be something like the play curl flat corner. So we're going to streak Evans. We're going to put that little flat out there. Now here, you're sitting here. Oh, all the routes are flooding this way. You don't have to worry about it. You've got that box check and pretty much any corner route that they're going to run, you're going to have really good defense on. So the bottom line is you're going to have pretty good defense across the board uh, within this cover four palms. It's a very safe defense. If you understand how it works, we teach how it works in the ebook. Uh, but also uh, one more play that I want to show, and that's the PA boot over, which is probably the most popular. So again, here, you're going to flow here, and then you're going to see that this crosser is going to get completely bagged by the cover four. So there's really not even anything for us to use or outside of maybe the post on this. And when you man up that inside slot of the bunch, it really does help significantly with the match because now they only have to do a box check essentially on two people as opposed to three. Now when they go into motion, what I like to do typically, so let's say you get something that looks kind of like this and they're gonna, they're gonna run uh, their point man and they're gonna put him in motion. Well, whenever they put motion on the field, one of the things that I genuinely really think makes a lot of sense, you're just gonna take that linebacker and you could honestly put him in a hook curl or you could just man him up on the guy that went in motion. Now you're in a position here where you still got great coverage and you're gonna be able to hang with most of what they're doing. You could also put that middle linebacker into a man coverage assignment on the tight end and that's gonna, again, continue to free up your user so that you can take away the majority of what they wanna do. So I'll show you that concept one more time and then I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say we got something like this. Notice we're gonna man that linebacker up onto the tight end now and you'll see now he's gonna go to the corner. We're still working the middle of the field and the match coverage just does a great job at taking away a lot of what they like to do. Match coverage, man coverage, to me, those are the two best coverages at the point this year. Uh, I would really encourage you to try to get good at that, understand the rules. If you want to learn more about this, you want to learn my entire coverage scheme out of nickel normal, which I think produces the best coverage in the game. The one defense, in my opinion, where I actually feel like I can kind of cover uh, the majority of what most metas and what most people are going to do uh, with their offense. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn all that, join the Patreon. Patreon members get access to everything, setups, breakdowns, ebooks, all of it. Uh, I've got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks in my Patreon. So if you want to get that, there'll be a link in the description. If you're still watching, you want to go check out the Patreon, head on down to the description and click that link down below.